Hey guys, this is Pandora Will here again. Um, I've recently received some requests to make another um, tutorial on how to make an introduction video in Blender. Uh, this time the request was to have a more advanced introduction. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to start off by deleting um, everything in the opening Blender scene, the default scene, um, just so I could have a blank slate to work with. So now I'll just add a text, um, then I'll just change the, the writing from text to um, intro. Okay, that's spelled correctly, that's good. Tab out, and I will adjust my text settings by going over to this tab over here, the F1. I'll scroll out, let's see. I'm just going to type in my trusty point two for extrude. Yep, that's that looks good. And I'm just going to change the depth a little bit. Round off some edges. Make it nice and uh, smooth. All right, that that'll be fine. So now, I'm going to rotate it and slide it up just a tad. Now, I'm going to add on a plane and that's going to serve as my floor for my scene um, I'm going to move the intro over so it's centered above the, the floor and I'll just scale it up a little larger um, here we go so this is the basic setup um, now I'm going to do what makes this a little more advanced um, seeing that I have my text settings the way I want them. I'm going to convert my text into a mesh. So to do that I will go to object, scroll all the way to the top, um, you may have to hit the arrow, select convert to and convert it to a mesh from a curve or from um, a text. So now as you can see over here the little F tab up here for text settings is no longer up there and that's because um, intro is no longer text but it is an object um, so next I'm going to go to object quick effects and then quick explode and now this is a super easy way to have our object fracture and um, explode um, there is a more advanced way and that's to add the fracture tool um, modifier um, but it's much more difficult and now with this version of blender they include a, um, a quick effect for exploding so it's super convenient down here is our, our explode options for object um, you can increase the number of pieces to as many as you want um, just to note the higher you go and the more pieces you have the longer render time um, you're looking at for your your video which if you're making an intro um, odds are it's only going to be a short three to four second clip anyway um, so if you wanted to have a super high quality you could have a lot of pieces um, but that could be a little distracting duration uh, we want the, ex the pieces to um, last throughout the entire clip so as you can see the default setting is to 250 frames so duration I'll just go up to 250 for now that's fine um, start frame I'll have the explosion start at the tenth frame and then the end, end frame for the explosion I'll also have that at the tenth frame just so the explosion all happens at once and it's um, nice quick and abrupt and that should be it for our explosion settings. Um, next, we'll want to tell Blender that these exploding shards that'll happen, um, if you hit play, you can see that it turns into a bunch of shards. We want to tell Blender that they're, um, they're physical and they actually can interact with the environment. Um, we don't want them just to fall through the floor. Um, so what we'll need to do is go up here 
um, scroll over to the physics tab. This is the one that looks like the ball bouncing off the floor. Um, and I select collision. And now we're telling Blender that these, this object is going to be able to collide with another object. And that other object is a floor. So I'll want to tell Blender that the floor is also a collision object. Um, so now you'll see that the, the pieces fall and hit the floor and they'll, they'll bounce off. That's pretty cool looking. So now we'll just add a camera. Whoops, camera. Because that'll be necessary for a scene. Um, crap, I did not want to add it over there, so I'm going to delete it. I'm going to select my origin and put it right there. Go to front view and then add camera. I can spell. There we go. And then I will slide it out. Slide it up. Hit zero, see how it's looking. Um, I think I want it back. Let's see center it. And I think I want it back a little bit. That should be cool. Uh, maybe down a little more. Um, just because I want to make sure to get the floor in there. So now we can see what the camera sees and it'll look like we'll have the intro and it'll explode and kind of ex explode and bounce like that. Um, if we were re to render it right now we'd just get a black screen because we have no lighting source. Um, but for this tutorial I think I will make the actual text the lighting source. Um, to do this I'll just go to the material tab. Um, I'll pick a color I think this time I'll go green, and then I will turn the emit value up. I'll just go all the way up to 2.0. Um, that's as far as it'll let you slide up. So now we got a glowing text. We just need to adjust the world settings. Um, I'll turn the horizon to black, and then I'll also turn on indirect lighting, and I'll make it approximate. And that way, you can see that our text is glowing onto the floor. Now I'll just move up a few frames so we got some shards flying around. That's awesome. So now there's a lot of things you can do here to customize and personalize your intro. You could animate the camera and have it move around through the shards. Um, you can do all kinds of th stuff but basically I was just showing how to explode the text for the intro and make it look pretty cool. Um, if you're using Vegas Pro and I'm sure other video editors, you can run this and rewind and make all the shards uh, look like they're coming together as you can see in this playback um, and make it look like it's coming together to form the word. So there's all kinds of things you can do. Um, and this has been a quick tutorial on how to make a more advanced intro using Blender. Thanks for watching. Uh, for more videos, please subscribe. Um, if you want to see something particular, you can leave me a comment or a message, and I will definitely try to make a, a video or a tutorial on how to do whatever you'd like. Thanks for watching.